What's up, YouTube? Here with some more Liberty University pilot mumbo jumbo. So if you want to learn more about Liberty and your private pilot license and how you can save a little bit of time and money by not going through Liberty, stay tuned. Uh, again, this video is probably mainly, mainly for veterans using the GI Bill. Uh, but before we get to that, if this video helped you out in any way, hit the like button. And if it really, really helped you out, then subscribe. Okay, so getting into it. When I first started at Liberty, I was under the impression that everything from private pilot to, you know, commercial three, commercial two, whatever, to the very end, multi-engine, had to be all 141 through Liberty University, no if, if ands, or buts about it. And that's not true. And your pilot, private pilot license is actually one of those things. So you can get a Part 61 private pilot license, and then after that, apply at Liberty University, go to the, one of their flight affiliates, and then get your instrument and your commercial through um, a Liberty flight affiliate while you're in school at Liberty. Your instrument and your commercials are actually the only two licenses in which you have to be enrolled at Liberty University and going to one of their flight affiliates to qualify for that uh, ATPR, so the, the thousand hour time, once you have that uh, bachelor's degree in aviation, you can get that, that thousand hour to go to the airlines instead of the 1500. So what actually qualifies you for that is you have to have a certain number of credits at Liberty University, certain number of aviation credits, and you also need to have your instrument and your commercial licenses done through Liberty University while you're enrolled at Liberty University through one of their flight affiliate programs. Everything else does not have to be done directly with Liberty. You can take the courses through Liberty. Like I said, there's a certain amount of courses that you need, uh, but those two are the only that you have to coordinate flight training with. So having said that, you can go out and get your Part 61 private pilot license not your part 41 and then enroll and jump on with liberty instead of getting your your part uh, 141 and what that's going to do is one thing it's going to save you a shitload of money i have spent on this private pilot course nearly twenty thousand dollars and that's because you're paying not only for your flight training so if you go to a part 60 61 course you're essentially just paying for the flight training right the ground school and that's it for that course but in this instance i'm not only paying for the flight training at my flight affiliate which is paid through liberty i pay all that money to liberty but i'm also paying for the courses that i'm taking through liberty's portal and that brings me to my next point is you're gonna have double the workload if you decide to do your private pilot license through Liberty and this is something that you're gonna have to get used to because for your both your instrument and your commercial licenses you're gonna have double we'll say ground schools so you're gonna have a school with your flight affiliate you know a school where you where you go into class and you sit down and you learn shit, but you're also going to be doing that online through an online class with Liberty. You're going to be doing that instrument and commercial. If you take your ground, your private pilot license through Liberty, you're going to have to do double ground schools. So you'll have to sign up through Liberty classes for a flight class and a ground school class and both of those you'll have assignments you'll have things to do online and that is totally separate 100 percent separate from 
what you're doing back at your flight affiliate. And so you have double that workload, double ground schools that need to be finished, that need to get done. So if you decide that you want to do your private pilot license through Liberty, you're going to be adding a shitload more work. And you're also going to be paying about, I would say, at least five grand extra. I have not looked into prices as far as private pilot licenses goes, uh, the 61 route anyways, but I would have to imagine that you could get it for at least 15. So just right there, if we just guess that that's it, you'd be saving $5,000 right off the bat right there. And let me tell you, just adding the work to it too, like the double ground schools that I had to do was a pain in the ass. I would not want to do that. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, just listen to me. You don't want to do that. You don't. You don't. So those are the two th biggest things before deciding before deciding to go on this this Liberty route with your private pilot license that I would really think about. Because in the end, it does not matter if your private pilot license is part 61 or part 141, you can still get that thousand hour ATPR or the RATP, which whichever one it is. You can still get that thousand hours, you know, and go to the airlines at a thousand hours. Whether you have a part 61 or part 141, it doesn't matter. So if you decide to go to Liberty, just keep in mind, you're going to be paying a shitload more. And I mean a shitload. But hey, those are IOUs. Those are just as good as money. You see that one? 250000 Might want to hang on to that one. But I digress. And workload. You're going to be doing a lot more work, and I think that's already a, a pretty stressful time when you're trying to learn the basics of flying and just get that down. But you're also having to do two ground schools, so two extra courses online that you're having to worry about that other students that you're in class with aren't having to worry about. It's, it's a pretty big load. And not having to, I know myself, if I would have not had to worry about those extra Liberty classes online, it would have made things so much easier. I'm not shitting you. It would have made it so much easier. So those are some things to think about before you get wrapped up into a private pilot license with Liberty University. So do your research. You know, decide on your own what is best for you. Because granted, there is the um, FAFSA. You can get FAFSA through Liberty University. Whether it will be enough to cover that difference of, you know, the fact that it's going to be cheaper through 61, I don't know. But this is just some things to look into before you take that leap. So I hope this helps some of you out. And, uh, Good luck to anybody who's getting started. It's a hell of a journey. <laughs>